Hello, my name is George, and in this video, we're putting Verizon 5G versus Fios Home Internet head to head. We'll break down their speeds, reliability, pricing, and overall experience so that by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one fits your home best. Now, before we dive in, a quick disclaimer, some links in the description might be affiliate links. This means I may earn a small commission if you make a purchase through them at no extra cost to you. Now, let's get started. What's the difference between Verizon 5G and Verizon Fios Home Internet? These two might come from the same company, but they work very differently. Verizon 5G is wireless, meaning it uses Verizon's 5G cellular network to bring the internet to your home. No cables, no digging, just a small router that connects to Verizon's towers. It's basically like having a giant mobile hotspot for your whole house. Now, Verizon Fios, on the other hand, is fiber optic internet, which means it uses physical fiber cables to deliver your internet connection. Fiber is known for being faster and more reliable than wireless options, but it requires installation and is only available in certain areas. So right away, the biggest difference is that one is wired, Fios, and the other one is wireless, 5G. That affects speed, reliability, and even availability. Let's get into the details. Which one is faster? If you want the absolute fastest internet, Verizon Fios is the better choice. It offers speeds from 300 megabits per second up to two gigabits per second. And here's the big deal. Fios gives you equal upload and download speeds. That means if you have one gigabit per second download speeds, your upload speeds will be the same. That's perfect for gaming, video calls, and uploading large files. Verizon 5G is fast, but not as consistent. Speeds range from 100 megabits per second to one gigabit per second, but they aren't symmetrical. Upload speeds are much lower than downloads. That might not seem like a big deal, but if you're someone who works from home, live streams, or needs to upload large files, it can make a difference. Plus, because Verizon 5G relies on Verizon cell towers, speeds can slow down if a lot of people are using the network at the same time. So if you're in a busy area, you might notice speeds drop during peak hours. Which one is more reliable? Now, when it comes to reliability, Fios wins again. Since fiber optic internet uses physical cables, it doesn't get affected by weather, network congestion, or interference. Once it's installed, it's one of the most stable internet options you can get. Verizon 5G, on the other hand, is wireless, which means a lot more factors can affect your connection. If you're close to a 5G tower with a strong signal, your experience will be great. But if you're further away or if the network is congested, your speeds can slow down. Even trees, buildings, and bad weather can interfere with your signal. For everyday use like streaming, browsing, and casual gaming, Verizon 5G works fine. But if you rely on a rock solid connection for work or serious gaming, Fios is the better choice. Which one is easier to set up? If you want internet right now, Verizon 5G is the easiest option. There's no installation needed. Verizon sends you a router, you plug it in and you're online. It's as simple as that. Now Fios, on the other hand, requires a professional installation. Since it's fiber optic, a technician needs to come to your house, set up the fiber line and install your router. It's a one-time hassle, but once it's set up, you don't have to worry about it again. The installation fee is usually about $99, though it's sometimes vague for higher speed plans. So if you want quick and easy internet with no setup, Verizon 5G is the better option. But if you don't mind waiting for installation and want the most stable internet connection, go with Fios. Which one is more available? Availability is a big deciding factor because Verizon Fios is only in certain areas. Right now, less than 10% of US households can get Fios, and it's mostly available in the Northeastern US. If you don't live in an area with Verizon's fiber network, you can't get it at all. Verizon 5G is much more widely available. It covers twice as many locations as Fios and is available nationwide as long as you're in a Verizon 5G coverage area. If you live somewhere with no fiber or cable internet options, 
when Ryzen 5G could be a great alternative. How do the prices compare? All right, let's talk about money. Verizon Fios offers three main plans, starting with a 300 megabits per second option for $34.99 per month. If you need more speed, the 500 megabytes per second plan costs $59.99 per month. For those who want the fastest speeds, Fios provides one gigabit or two gigabit per second plans, ranging from $65 to $85 per month. All Fios plans come with a router included, and Verizon locks in your price for two to four years so you won't see unexpected price hikes during that period. However, if your credit isn't great, you may need to pay a security deposit of up to $250. Verizon 5G internet comes in at a slightly lower price point. The basic plan, which offers speeds between 100 and 300 megabits per second, costs $35 per month. For $45 per month, you get to upgrade to the 5G Home Plus plan, which provides speeds ranging from 300 megabits to 1 gigabit per second, depending on your location. Both plans include a router, and there are no installation fees, making setup quick and easy. Now, like Fios, Verizon may require a security deposit, which can be as high as $400, depending on your credit score. So if you're comparing value for the price, Verizon Fios gives you faster and more consistent speeds for what you pay. However, if you're looking for a cheaper, hassle-free option that doesn't require installation, Verizon 5G home internet could be the better fit. What about customer satisfaction? Verizon Fios customers love their service. It's fast, reliable, and doesn't slow down, which is why it scores high in customer satisfaction surveys. Most people who get Fios say they never have to call customer service because it just works. Verizon 5G customers are more mixed. Some love it because it's simple and works well for them, while others complain about slowdowns during peak hours. Since wireless internet quality depends on location, your experience could be great or frustrating. So, which one should you get? If you have access to Verizon Fios home internet, it's the best option. It's faster, more reliable, and gives you better upload speeds. The only downside is the installation process, but once it's set up, it's one of the best home internet options out there. Now, if Fios isn't available where you live, Verizon 5G home internet is still a decent option. Just keep in mind that speeds may not always be consistent. If you just need internet for browsing, streaming, and basic work, it'll do the job just fine. But if fiber or cable options exist in your area, check those first before committing to 5G. So if you want to check out Verizon's latest offers for both Fios and 5G home internet, click the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.